Hello and welcome back. Let us try to understand what is multi output classification. We have seen multi label classification as generalization of binary class classification. Similarly, multi output classification is a generalization of multi class classification. Multi output classification is a generalization of multi class classification. In multi class classification problem, we have seen the y variable having multiple classes, more than two classes, we, we have seen. In uh, multi output classification, you will have such y variables, more such y variables, right? In, in a simple way, if you want to speak, in multi output classification, there will be more than one y variable with each variable having more than two classes. It is a more generalization of multi class classification. You will have more y variables with each variable having more than two classes. So, if the data set is like that, then you call that as multi output classification problem and we can uh, you know build a, a knn model to make predictions on multi output classification so to simulate this environment what we did is uh, suppose that uh, you have got a handwritten digit which is corrupted that hand handwritten digits we have already built a model in multi uh, class classification right to identify whether a handwritten digit is either 0 or 1 or 2 till 9 right suppose that you have got a handwritten digit image corrupted and you need to make that corrupted image clean in that situation what you need to have is the corrupted image converted into digits as input the clear image as output converted into digits as output Right, we have seen that in uh, multi-class classification that there are 784 pixels. There are 784 pixels in the data set. Right? So, the corrupted image 784 pixels for 0 you will take and clear image 784 pixels you take as output. So, in each cell there can be a possibility that uh, there can there, there is a possibility that there can be a value between 0 and 255 either it is input or in output. So, if you look at this problem, there are 784 inputs and 784 outputs. That means from x1 till x784 are the inputs and y1 till y784 are the outputs because you are trying to find, predict the clear picture by passing the corrupted picture. So, this is the scenario we are trying to solve. So, I have taken the digit recognized data and to simulate this environment, we added some noise to the data and created corrupted images if you look at this we have created corrupted six we have you no know, clean six so we have the input we have the output it is a supervised problem so supervised learning problem we will pass uh, the corrupted images and the clear images and train a model and uh, we take a corrupted image and pass it to the model and see whether it is predicting the predicting correctly or not so if you look at uh, you know the model we have actually did min max scaling because KN and algorithm need scaling and then we fitted a model with the, the you know, digit X train this is actually the corrupted data and no noise this is the clean data we passed the corrupted data as input and clean data as output and trained the model and now I have taken one index some index one record and passed it and tried to predict so when you predict right you will get 784 outcomes in a binary class classification or multi class classification you will get one output because you are you have only one y variable when you pass one record you will get one output but in a multi class sorry in, in multi output or multi label you will get a multiple outputs so here 784 outputs each output may range between 0 and 255 that's where we called it as multi output classification Right? So, in multi-label, each output will be ranging between, it will be 0 or 1. But in multi-output, each variable is going to have a value between 0 and 255. So, here when I predicted, I got 784 pixels and I, I represented as a, you know, a picture and I have got 6, cleaned up 6. So, that is the multi-output uh, classification. This is just a simple scenario we created and uh, you know, if you play with the code, right, you will understand better. Thank you.